boys and girls so for today's video i'm doing a little bit of something new i've never done this before well i have but not to this extent now for today's video i'm talking about the future of one piece games on roblox what i honestly think about some games and what i think about the current one piece scene on roblox this is a video i've been wanting to make for a very long time now as for those that don't know one piece is my favorite anime i think one piece is peak fiction Yes, I think that One Piece is the best anime, I think it's the best manga, and you can fight me on that, that's just how I feel. Anyways, this is a video where I don't know how many people are going to watch it, but if you do watch it, I just, I don't know, I want you guys to kind of get my honest opinion because I've been doing, doing a lot of this new Roblox blah 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 games lately. I want to do a video talking about what I love Roblox the most for, and that's One Piece games on Roblox. So when I first got into Roblox, the game that actually got me hooked, uh, not really hooked, but... Yeah, actually, the game that got me playing Roblox every single day, I probably wouldn't even be doing YouTube right now if not for this game. It was this game right here called Steve's One Piece. I'm not sure if this is the actual game, but this was my game. You know, every single day I would hop on Steve's One Piece. And right now, I think the game looks compared to... See, the thing is, two years ago when I played this game, maybe even three years ago when I was... I think I was in middle school. I don't remember. I played the hell out of this game. And it, this game was amazing to me. Obviously, now with games like Grand Line, the game doesn't look very good anymore. But this game was my childhood. Well, not my childhood, but this was like... This was my first Roblox Roblox game. I think this is what got me so excited to watch One Piece. It got, this is what got me into not only recording videos. Well, not recording videos, but not only really playing roblox every single day but this is what led up to me becoming a youtuber so now that's out of the way today's video is going to be i'm going to be talking about the current one piece scene on roblox now this is honestly pretty sad but when i think about roblox one piece games i can literally only name four now you guys might be saying chris why is that such a bad thing four is a good number right well if i think about another big three anime like dragon ball Dragon Ball Final Stand, Dragon Ball Line Generations, uh, Dragon Ball Rage, I think it was Rage, anyways, uh, Dragon Ball, what was it, Zenkai Boost, something like that, you guys get my point, if I think about something like Bleach, for example, Blotch, uh, Bleach Era, Bleach Prime Era, there's a whole bunch of other Bleach games that I played that I can think of, I just don't know them off the top of my head, Naruto, Shindo Life, uh, there's so many Naruto games, I, I know there are, you gotta believe me on that, there have been so many Roblox Naruto games, anyways, my point with this is, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion, I feel like the amount of quality that's been given to other anime games has been, there's like a colossal difference between those games and One Piece, now right now on Roblox, there's one type of One Piece game, and that is a Blox Roots type game now you guys might be saying chris wait wait wait, wait. grand piece grand piece line isn't a block Roots type game what are you talking about well yes grand piece line is actually a block Roots type game the thing with grand pieces and the reason why grand piece is not my favorite robotics anime game or favorite game in general it's not because the game has stunning amazing mechanics it's not because the game is super in-depth and well built it's because the game looks amazing and that's why i love it so much chris Corey, everybody else just works so hard on the project for even for you i don't know what for you does but i'm sure he does something but nary all of them they just work amazing they, their work is freaking amazing the project looks great and that's why i love grand piece so much now you guys probably don't know this about me but around two years ago this is where my channel started I actually you know i went from like 50 subs to 100 maybe i don't remember this is where i went to like a thousand i posted a lot of block series videos this was one of my first roblox videos this was two years ago this was young chris i was i loved box Roots. let me be completely honest i loved the game so to see it still popular two years from now i guess i should be happy about that but the thing about box Roots is it's just it's not my type of game and if i had to explain why and this is me being completely honest here if i had to explain why i didn't like box Roots, is because the visuals are not good enough for me and if i had to give you guys an example of why i say that I'm going to throw a screen of the Phoenix model for uh, Blox Roots on the screen. You guys tell me if you want to play that. Now, if you do like Blox Roots, King's Legacy, all of that, I completely respect your decision. And that's on you. You can play it if you want to. Now, moving on to my main purpose of saying all of this crap. I feel like Blox Roots came out on Roblox two years ago, three years ago, whenever it released. I feel like Blox Roots came, it released, and it made a precedent for how Roblox One Piece games should look. The thing that I've been seeing lately with Roblox is if a game succeeds then people are going to follow in that game's footsteps. It's just like with any other sport, basketball. When you see a player like LeBron James, for example, you want to play like LeBron, if that makes sense. That's a good analogy. I don't know. You guys let me know. But people have been working on unique games just for them to flop, like stuff like Ultimate Finale. 
people have been doing things like how Vita worked on Ultimate Finality, where he tried to create something new and unique, and then maybe the project didn't do so well, maybe it died, and then they see that these cash grab type one piece games are succeeding, and they're like, oh, let me go ahead and work on one of those. And I feel like this mindset is what's kind of pushed us towards where we are with one piece games, where even if I were to go onto my own page right now, if I go to my Discover tab, I'm going to see at least one, two, three blocks roots copies. Now, let's look what we have right now on Roblox because don't get me wrong, there are three different One Piece games. Or, oh, I can't speak. There are three different Roblox One Piece games right now that are currently dominating the scene. The first one would be Blocks Roots. This is the highest or second highest. I'm not sure. It's one of the two. This I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say highest. Yeah, I'm gonna say highest. Then we have number two, which is King Legacy, and then we have number three, which is Grand Piece. So where I'm trying to go with this video is I'm actually. I'm genuinely curious as to what the future of Roblox's One Piece games is looking like because just like how Blocks Roots came out on Roblox and kind of set a precedent for what One Piece games should be looking like. Well, not even. Let me let me let me phrase that. What successful One Piece games on Roblox should be looking like. I mean, it's it's the truth. Blocks Roots is an insanely successful game. It's been around since 2019 and it has over two billion visits. Two billion that is a big number that's a very big number but basically block shoots is saying if you want to have a successful game you got to follow in our footsteps but that's not necessarily true but the thing is i feel like we're not going to get any any kind of game changing revolutionary one piece games because i feel like people are going to see people are going to continue to see that these these cash grabs and that's what block shoots is if you don't think block shoots is a cash grab i've played the game i've granted the hell out of block shoots i played that game a lot so if you say that Blast Roots isn't a cash grab, you were not playing the game correctly or you're just not playing it at all. You're playing it with the blindfold. So what I'm trying to say is I feel like cash grabs like these are the only games that are coming in the future. That's honestly pretty disappointing because as such a huge One Piece fan and as someone who played the hell out of Steve's One Piece that I, I don't know. I feel like Steve's One Piece just kind of changed my perspective on One Piece games because even though it's kind of old and outdated now, when it was it was fresh and new the game was just freaking amazing i mean season one piece was just it was just that game what i really want to get to the bottom of with this video is that what we want what the majority of well let me, let me not say that because if it was we if the one piece community on roblox was just one general population then we wouldn't be playing these different games you know 34,000 people wouldn't be playing king's legacy 91,000 people wouldn't be playing block roots 10,000 people wouldn't be playing grand piece they'd all probably be playing one singular game whether it be grand peace blocks roots or king legacy so what i want and what i feel like the people in my branch of one piece roblox you know the, the one piece roblox community in my area not even not even just my subscribers maybe the people that play grand peace what we want is well there's a few requirements that i feel like are, are generally what we want to be met good graphics that's something that grand peace has that is friggin carrying the game to be completely honest Grand Piece Online is carried by its visuals, and that's not saying that that's a bad thing. The visuals for GPO are beautiful, so of course it's going to be carried by that. We want a game that has some new mechanics. We don't want the same spawning as a marine or a pirate, you know. We we don't want to be able to just buy dove fruits all that. We want, I guess what we really want is to be feeling like we're actually in the world of One Piece. You know, that's, that's kind of hard to meet, but yeah. Anyways, today's video was me just kind of ranting about the current scene of Roblox One Piece games. I gotta say, this is me being completely honest, as I always am and always am going to be, I am a little bit disappointed in the current One Piece scene on Roblox, you know? When I look at games like Anime Legends or Deep Oaken, for example, I go, wow, this is such an amazing concept. If only One Piece could have done something with some of these concepts, because I just feel like no One Piece game has really explored well, there was that one game. I think it was called Final Chapter. I didn't play it, so I wouldn't know. But I feel like no One Piece game or Roblox has really explored new concepts. I feel like they're just they're just st st making themselves get stuck in one place, and they're not really going anywhere besides that. But that's it for me this video. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below. I was trying something new, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. I'll catch y'all on the next one later. So I was actually planning on ending the video there, but there are two Roblox One Piece games that are coming out in the near future. Well, one is closed community, so I don't know when it's coming out, and the other is a game that's releasing. I'll go over the one that's releasing first because this is a game that I feel deserves some exposure. You know, it reminds me a lot of Grand Piece Online, and I feel like a lot of the aspects uh, of uh, the, the development, the visuals are definitely taken with some inspiration from Grand. <laughs> 
I'm going to suggest Peace Grand Salon. And so first off, you have Conqueror's Cruise. I think this game has a lot of potential. You know, this is early development. So all of this stuff is subject to change. And looking at the gear second, this is, I think that this game has the potential to be up there with GPO, King's Legacy, all of that. Now, what I want to see from King's Legacy or what I want to see from Conqueror's Cruise is I want to see them put a lot of effort into the mechanics behind the game. Because like I said about Grand, Grand Peace Online, I feel like that's what GPO is really lacking is solid mechanics. So if this game could just come up with that, I feel like it's all this game needs. Now for the second game, I'm going to Ivan Atrix's uh, Twitter account. And this is a closed community One Piece game. This is him using Buso Hockey. I have a clip of him using, oh yeah, right here. Colors versus Katana, if I can get this to load. Now this is a CC game, so I'm not honestly expecting too much from it. As you know, CC games, first off, it's incredibly difficult to get into them, but I'm gonna just ignore that for now. I'll show you guys this clip. The combat for this game looks absolutely amazing. I wish I could show some sort of Discord, but I don't have one. This is completely CC, so the chances of a lot of us getting into this are very low, but I thought this game looked pretty cool. You know, the combat is it, sick. I mean, he just kicked somebody. Like, <laughs> it's just cool. Knowing this is One Piece based is, uh, it, it's pretty freaking amazing. But that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you're new, hit that sub button right now. 65,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'm out. I hit up hard, make them switch animations. They change from the show to the movies on. Uh. Feel like the Burger who wanna fight with me? I take them out with this two piece on. Uh. Who's not they cabin when they say they want me? They gon' see my crew, no, they lose it.